So we are going over to the paint shop to have all these uh, center console pieces pieces uh, painted. So, yeah. All that's going great. Yeah. Yep. So we just walked in the shop, and Mike has the hood and rear hatch painted, and he's got some things, I guess, sketched out. Tape. Sketched out. Yeah. Can't see it very good because it's green and yellow, but still, what do you think of that? What do you think, Trevor? Amazing. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you prefer, a plain hood or these awesome scallops. I'm super biased towards them, so. You're trying. <laughs> All right, let's go over this. So yesterday was a long day. We, we built the rotisserie in the morning and then we messed with this motor. And Trevor knows better than me, but the instructions were not very clear. We're gonna try to start it. How much confidence do you have? 33%. Yeah. They were very clear on hooking up these two wires, and they were very clear about hooking up these two wires, but they were less than forthcoming about hooking up this wire. So we messed with it and messed with it and messed with it, and the computer, the laptop was saying, everything's hooked up, everything's fine. Apparently, if you leave this wire unhooked, there's no sensor that tells you it's unhooked. It was frustrating. Finally got it started. We were more excited than we looked, but we were tired. So we're gonna start it up for you again. This time, open manifolds. I wanna open that door. This is the wire that gave us all, all that trouble. We have lots of excuses. Yeah. Like it was late. <laughs> yeah. Our frames were. make this so we can move it around the shop because we've been rolling it around on the rollers on the pipes and it is not fun to move around so we're gonna make it a little easier to move around it's gonna be worth it what else la ba da ba da ba do <laughs> There's so many cups here. That's because everybody likes drinking out of them. And I know you would like drinking out of them too. So go get yours today at mattsoffroadrecovery.com. Casey, your thing's full of warm water. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're doing here, we're turning these, these uh, bolts around. I guess you'd call that a bolt still. We're turning them around so that we can tighten them up from the back because we're going to be welding a shield around here. Are you not sold on the idea? Well, no, I just... He's weigh, he's weighing the... I'm weighing the options, like in the future, am I going to do this? If the answer is yes or no. Yes or no. Dude, taking the seats out. The first step in removing the seats, if you find yourself in the car buckled up, is to unbuckle the seat belt. Climb out of the car and go find the tools for the next half hour to get the rest of the seats out. Hey! This isn't the how-to channel! <laughs> up next. 
why Rudy got fired. How to do this thing I'm doing. <laughs> so, after that's done. Go ahead. After that's done. After that's done, you go take a 30 minute break. Well, I'm almost done with the seats, so let me know when you're done. Ma'am. Yeah. So we've got this uh, Dana 70 axle here, and we are pulling the hubs off it, pull the axles out of it. Ultimately, we're going to be putting gears and a walker in it. Um, today, I think we're just going to see what it takes to get it cleaned up and get the disc brakes put on it. So we're converting it to disc brakes. The whole kit's there? I don't know. Part of the kit. Oh, yeah, the whole kit's there. Oh, they have parking brakes. Yes, I do. Cool. Yes, I do. Those are pretty. We should probably get these painted. Question is, does that look basically centered like the? It looks dead on. It, I mean, the brakes look like they're lined up beautifully. Okay. Move this way. The inside. Of the, inside the, the inside is the piston, and it moves yeah. independent of this. So as long as this isn't binding right. against this, we're good. We got enough. Yeah. Then it can wear out. We need our scale so we can see how much weight we just saved. Not as much as it looks like, because this and this and this. Replace the backing plate, but it's all so the guts, much simpler. and the drums. How much is the undercoating going to weigh? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Here's the deal. Me and Trevor or ask to paint the pumpkin on this axle and to paint the rest of the axle as well. Matt said to paint the pumpkin and everybody knows pumpkins are orange. Surprisingly just like carving a pumpkin. Matt told him to paint a pumpkin. Did he say a pumpkin or the pumpkin? Oh no. Oh. Darn. It's really a lot to take in, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The majesty is overwhelming. You nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. No wonder it smells like pumpkin. <laughs> Lizzie, look what they did. They made a pumpkin. <laughs> Does it look like me? Before you went to the dentist. I think I have a better smile than that. I love it, man. <laughs> this is what I was hoping for. Yes. <laughs> so let's turn it this way so we can. Are we trying to get it on there right now? No. <laughs> okay, oh, we're oh, a terrible oh. idea. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're doing we're it for the ground, right? Yeah, we're doing it. It doesn't look oh, like we're doing, doing it for the hernia. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. All right, lady, you can learn at this, but you're not very good at it. Yet. Wait. Okay, here. Okay. Matt, you're really good at that.
Okay, so the first step we're doing, these are going to be oriented to the rear, I think. It doesn't really matter. So these are the original bolts that held the backing plate on, the brake backing plate. We cut these notches and ground this down, and then we've got these bolts flipped around backwards. And this holds the new disc brake adapters on. The shield that I'm putting on here is going to capture these studs. So these studs become pretty, pretty permanent in a minute. Okay, so the next step in this process is to get the shield that I made. This is just some exhaust pipe. And you put it on here and you eyeball it and then mark where they are. So I'm going to be notching these so that it sits flush against that. And you turn this on. Cut and begin. Now that we're done with that, oh, that's good enough. We can weld that. Okay, so this is what the finished product is gonna look like. So we'll use this to like really center it, make sure that's spaced all the way around. Tack that on and then weld it up. And once again, let me, let me show you the benefits of this. It protects this seal from direct from a direct attack from any mud or sand or rocks or high pressure water from like a pressure washer or something makes that seal last a lot longer. So is it worth doing? I don't know. Am I going to do it? Yes. <clears throat> Got this side done. Eyes right here. Ah. Woo! That's my job, Trevor. People are threatening to send me gloves, so I've got to show them that I have gloves. You don't have to send me gloves. And Trevor's going to paint these and make them pretty. There they are. You got to dialogue those. I paint. I painted them and made them pretty. I painted them and made them pretty. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he did. And Rudy got the casters on the cart. I sure did. Look at those things. It's like a shopping cart. Kind of. And you might also notice that we got this back room done. It's supposed to be shop space, but because we ran out of office space. So anyway, from all of us at Matt's Off-Road Recovery, thank you and goodbye. Oh, maybe, I don't know. Thanks for watching.